One word that's the bane of both the novice and expert programmer alike, threads. I'm Joanna Smith, and threading can be one of the greatest perf improvements you make, but it will also likely drive you crazy. Tom Sawyer illustrated threading perfectly a long time ago when he needed to paint that fence, because when you've got a large chunk of work to do and it's the same work over and over again, you call on some friends to get it done quickly. So for computations that are taking a long time, consider calling in reinforcements with threads. By allowing multiple threads of execution to operate on your dataset in parallel, you reduce the overall time required to complete the task. With Android, threading becomes especially important because the entire app runs on the main thread, which is also called the UI thread because it updates the UI. And when the UI stops responding, users stop using your app. So when you want to perform some complex action in response to a button being pushed, for example, you'll want to move that off the main thread until it is finished so that the user can continue to interact with your app. Because there are a few things worse than the dreaded application not responding dialogue. However, Integrating threads into your system is not for the faint of heart. You're going to have to rethink your entire approach to computational complexity and to your memory model in order to properly integrate threads. So to avoid the rabbit hole, take advantage of the Android framework, which has been built to help you out. Careful thought and planning about your app's structure and flow will enable you to determine whether a thread should affect the UI or be entirely hidden. APIs like async task and thread both help you manage the work and keep your app from hanging, but async task will also allow you to affect the UI, like when you want to display a progress dialog. So take a walk through your own app and see if there are places where it stops responding or gets exceptionally slow in response to a user action, and then move all of that extra work off the main thread. But, you know, thoughtfully. Don't just change things willy-nilly. Because while threading may be intimidating, it shouldn't scare you. What is scary, though, is bad performance, which is why you should check out the rest of our Android Performance Patterns content and consider joining our G Plus community for tips, tricks, and help. But most importantly, keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters. <laughs>